Premier Media's Mining Weekly is interviewing solo fellow Shipalana, who heads Kaputeni Mining. Solo fellow, it's great to chat to you. Thank you for Plus, having me. How Kaputeni started was we have a brick manufacturing business. So we wanted to reduce the cost in that. So we wanted to mine our own sand. So when we're busy with the processes for sand mining, we discovered that in the area that we are planning on getting the sand, there is a history of gold mining that was taking place. So then we included, instead of only just now wanting to mine or applying to mine for sand, we also then included the gold prospecting part of it when we were applying with the Department of Mineral Resources. If you get a gold prospecting license now and you start mm -hmm. prospecting and you find gold, will you become a gold miner? Yes. Yes, without a doubt. In addition to your brick making business, there's potential in future for you to be in gold mining. But in the meantime, you will take that material from where to do your brick making? For now, uh, I am buying the material from people that have mining rights for the sand. So we are buying the sand from those people that I'm using now in the brick business. It's only when I get my own mining right for the sand, then I can start. Tell us about the ownership of this Kaputeni mining. I own 80% of the business. And I have a partner who owns 20% of the business and the partner happens to be my father. So the idea is to grow the, the brick side of it so that it can assist because we've also noticed that the gold mining part of the business is very expensive. We are personally funding the business. So that's why we want to grow the, the brick business side of it so that we can be able to get money to fund the prospecting once we receive the rights. We are generating between 200 and 400,000 rains per annum from the brick business. You are making these bricks from sand. What sort of sand? We take three wheelbarrows of river sand, and then we mix with two wheelbarrows of crusher dust, and then with a half bag of cement. Then we put them in the pan mixer, they mix, and then we put them in the machine. Then we get our, our brick. And we have a problem with electricity in South Africa at the moment. We have load shedding. Where do you get your yes. power from? We we work around the schedule, the ESCOM schedule, but we also have a generator that we're using to power the, the machine when there's load shedding. Currently, we're doing 3,000 per day. And yes. how do you sell those bricks? We sell them to the surrounding communities that are within our production site. And now we have started talks with Build It so that we can be the supplier for, for the bricks. So we are in the process of finalizing the contracts with them. So what will happen is Build It will now buy from me in bulk and then they will sell to their customers. So, But at the moment, I'm only relying on walk-ins for sales. Just give us a quick sketch of your background. I'm 34, born and bred <laughs> <laughs> in a village called Beggersdorf outside Zanin. I studied a Bachelor of Sciences and my honours degree at the University of Limpopo. I completed in 2011 and then went on to work as blood bank technician at the South African National Blood Service. And now I'm busy with UNISA studying project management. Give us a, a little bit of an insight into the organizations that assisted you to become an entrepreneur and how they do that. Last year, uh, I applied for a program with the SAB, FEDULA. So FEDULA are the people that I, I got accepted into the program. So the program is like a, a mentorship coaching program. So they give you a mentor who assists you in getting your uh, governance in order, your legislations in order, getting your finances in order. If you don't have them, getting all those things that are needed for one to have a proper business structure in place. So I got accepted into the Fetula program and they gave me a mentor now. I got in, an interview from them and then they connected me with you guys. 
And have you found that um, not just the market is good, but also some sort of guidance along the entrepreneurial path? Do you find it helpful? It's very helpful. It's very helpful because the entrepreneurial journey is lonely if you don't have anyone who, who will assist you. And it gets very frustrating because you try to look on doors and they're not opening. There are some areas where you don't even know where to start. So because they are there and they've got people that are experts in a lot of areas, so they're able to assist, given they build it deal. It's something, it's a door that they opened for me. I did not uh, get into that by myself, that they played a major role in me now accessing that market. So it's it's very helpful, very, very helpful. That was Creamer Media's Mining Weekly, interviewing solo fellow Shipalana, who heads Kaputani Mining.